all of my family, all of my friends, the conversations that we're having are, do you feel safe? What is it gonna look like for our little nephews? Are our parents okay? Are our friends okay? And for those of us who learned our history and who experienced it um, through our ancestors, know that from the inception of this country that there has been violence and brutality against Asian Americans, starting with Chinese rail workers. Um, and then we see an exclusion act that was extended to an entire continent of people, the incarceration of Japanese Americans, the rise in hate crimes against Muslim Americans following 9-11. All of those things are part of our history in this country. seen the rise of anti-AAPI sentiment and the rise of Asian hate crimes by 150%. And I think it is critically important to note that of those being reported, 68% of those victims are Asian women. As a public elected official, whenever somebody disagrees with my opinion or my policies, the first thing that they do is criticize the country from which my parents come from. And the second thing is my gender. So I have experienced a lot of targeted misogyny, targeted xenophobia, messages of going back to your own country, though I was born here, I was raised here, I've lived in Georgia almost my entire life. Um, and, you know, it is very real. I was also the first Vietnamese American to be elected in the state of Georgia in our 200 year history. And I was the only Asian American woman serving out of 236 lawmakers up until this year. Um, so, you know, it, it, it is prevalent in my life. 